everybody, I am OB and I'm back, and a day or two ago we got a drop for the gameplay part 2 of Red Dead Redemption 2 from Rockstar, and it's been all over the place, and I've been waiting a couple days, and I was wondering, like, what kind of video do I want to do? I don't, don't want to, I kind of was getting tired of the breakdowns, because everyone does a breakdown, like, here's what you missed. Look, there's Uncle by the side of the cart. What do you do? Like, it's not really super engaging, so I thought I'd go ahead and keep talking about my still favorite feature about what I liked about the original Red Dead, and what I'm hoping to see more of maybe the next gameplay trailer from Rockstar is Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Now, it's not still been talked about. We know it's coming in beta form the month after, so it's somewhere in November. We don't know where. Probably going to be towards the end of November, so we have that first month of, you know, a little bit at the end of October and the rest of November uh, to start playing the, you know, the, the regular mode as a training mode maybe for online. But here are my top six. And this is only what I can think of off the bat, and I may put out another video later. Things I want to see in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. <laughs> Well, I just want to see more games for online. Again, we see stuff in the trailer, for the gameplay trailer number two. We do see a lot of poker. We do see some other games being played, the stabbing of the hands. Arm wrestling was in GTA 5 online, so we may see that return with a, maybe more depth, maybe not more depth. It's an arm wrestling game. I don't know if it's like, you know, Rockstar's like, for online, we need to nail the, the arm wrestling game. Super important. Everyone played it. Darts was something that was also in GTA 5 that could easily transfer over. So hopefully we just see more games for Red Dead 2 Online. It's something that I would enjoy to do, and if possible, probably not going to happen. Uh, I wouldn't. I would like to that have that be in the overworld because I like the idea of being able to go into a saloon, go like, okay, play a game of poker, and then go like, ah, I lost, and then. Much, much like it is in um, GTA 5, you're arm wrestling, you just get up and you leave, you're like, alright, well, I'm gone. And then you just walk away, generally. Um, but hopefully that will be something that they think about when we do get the Red Dead Online uh, for number two. My second, heists and train robberies. This is probably going to be a no-brainer because obviously they're going to do this. It was ripe and ready for, I was thinking, the first Red Dead Redemption Online and it uh, never happened. It was, uh, again, Red Dead Redemption 1 Online was so bare bones that it almost didn't do too much, but I still enjoyed it a lot. I mean, you could really do very little. Heist Train Robbery, it was successful in GTA 5 Online. It would be easily transferable over to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, and they're gonna do it in the main story. This is, oh, this is a no-brainer. I have, I have no, I have no disbeliefs in knowing that this is going to be in the game. Maybe not at launch, but it will be in the game at some point. Heist, train robberies, give them to me, Rockstar. Need to rob that train! <laughs> Number three, is lawmen or just protection from other online players. I was always liking this idea, it's like, wouldn't it be cool in the original Red Dead Online if you got on a train and you're chilling, but then, uh-oh, you know, maybe you and your gang were on the train, they find that there's another gang of players that are like gonna rob the train because it's got money off it. You could be like, hey, I will give you some of the rule, I will give you some of the money in here if you help us defend this. And it'll be some sort of like, some dynamic playing would be super cool so that, while maybe not lawmen, you know, your protection against other online players, and maybe, not all the time, but maybe have that little bit of, you know, player interaction since we don't know how big the map is really gonna be huge, so. I would personally like to see a lot of lawman protection against other players kind of stuff. I think that could be really, really interesting, and it would be a great way to pit players against each other, rather than just like, oh, here comes Joe Smo to kill me, he's on the map, and got him. Like, just make it more interesting for that player interaction. <laughs> Number four, in-depth close combat. We do see a lot of this in both the, per the primary trailer that was dropped for Red Dead 2, and we've seen it a lot in the secondary trailer uh, for Red Dead 2. But we do see a lot of Arthur where he's getting grabbed and maybe he's like, oh, you know, he's, he's hitting, be elbowing them off of him, he's punching them, he's stabbing a dude. The close combat system in Red, in, sorry, in GTA Online is very basic. You basically swing at your opponent, may, with you lock on with the left trigger, you maybe press whatever the extra square button to dodge occasionally and then maybe hit the right trigger to come up with another swing. Like, it wasn't super in-depth and I would like that to be... Again, it's probably going to be crazy good for all, for the base portion of Red Dead 2, but I wouldn't mind seeing that transfer into online a lot better. I guess what I'm really asking for is for Red Dead 2 to function exactly like its online counterpart, or the online counterpart to function just like the base game, which won't happen. There'll be some caveats. 
but with again with how GTA 5 and online went, it's, it was they were very close in things you could do. Not all the time, but they were very very close. So maybe we'll see that pushed over into Red Dead 2 online. Number five, hunting and trading. One of the coolest things I always enjoyed about the very first Red Dead Online. I was like, this is such a good world, and there's animals and stuff, and you could shoot them, and it would get you challenges, but you couldn't like skin them. Like in the in the base game, you couldn't skin them, you couldn't sell them, and make some money, so you couldn't be like a trapper or anything like that, or make that a primary function of you know your play style. And that was such a bummer to me. I never liked that. that and it never got added. It, I was like, this could be such a cool feature. Uh, to do and could be interesting and maybe people can attack you and steal your fur like there's a little bit So there's a little bit of gambiting there if, you, if you're not careful. I like the idea I hope we, we see we're seeing more in-depth versions of hunting in Red Dead 2 primary the single player So hopefully we'll see that carry over into the multiplayer as well As for number six, I would now did I worked in Red Dead Online but it was, all it did was slow mo basically you just mark somebody and you got a free kill. No one slow mode at all, everyone still moved at the same speed, it was just like boom. I want to see maybe an improved Dead Eye, or if they can't really improve it beyond making it what it was in the first Red Dead Online, maybe just don't do Dead Eye at all. Like, it was such a, it was basically a one hit kill button, if you like mark them, boom, dead. And that wasn't very interesting, so maybe if they're not going to find a way to improve it in the online portion of Red Dead 2, maybe it's just better to get rid of it and not have it in the in the online campaign. Personally, I don't think it was really well done, and I, if it didn't come back, I wouldn't lose my mind if it wasn't there in the online portion. My top six things I would like to see transferred over from Red Dead 2's primary single plan plane to the online function of Red Dead 2. Let me know what you think about any of my points. Let me get some comments here. What do you want to see that you've seen in the trailers already that you would also want to see in online? Will you be there day one when the beta launches for online? Will you be playing in the game? I assume you will. If you're interested in this game at all, you're probably picking it up when it comes out. Um, but yeah, just give me some opinions here, guys. This is by no means the final list of my list. I'll probably put out another one before the end of the month. Red Dead is so close. It's so, it's right there, I can almost see it, if I squint hard enough, I can I can see it in my hand and I can play it on my TV. But, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, uh, we still got one more gameplay trailer coming out, but and I've been Iron Obi, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.